All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Raka Kodash, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video of their spirit, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truth as worms, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, salutation and blessings to those for like. I don't have uh, anything prepared, but I want to get in this, it's just on my, on my mind, uh, about Yahweh Shai. He was a better uh, high priest and a better sacrifice for the children of Israel than than the old the old way, because the old way we would never we would never make it. We would we would be constantly in a cycle of being having to go through the, the whole you know the whole of the holies, uh, high priest having to go in every once a year. We would be stuck. In that continual cycle, and through Yahweh Shai, we don't have to go through that. We don't have to go through that. We don't have to go through that endless cycle of doing that every year, over and over and over again. To that high priest dies, and then another high priest comes up. He dies. That high priest could have been wicked. You don't know. But we have a greater and a better sacrifice through Yahweh Shai. And not only did Yahweh Shai come down here like us and in this flesh, now he sits in heaven and is a mortal and perfect sacrifice for the children of Israel that we may be acceptable in, in, in the sight of, Yah of Yahweh. So I'm going to get into the book of Hebrews. I don't not, I'm just really flowing through the spirit. Lord, well, I hope it's edifying. It's not going to be too long. I just want to get a couple points because the book of Hebrews goes into this point and in into this topic multiple times. So this is Hebrews 4 and verse, verse 13. Neither is there any creature that that is not that is not manif manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him to whom we have to whom we to have to do, seeing that. We have a great high priest that passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh. Let us hold fast our prof our profession. I was listening to the Apostle Ramla. What is our profession? Hey, like, hey, 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 hey. like the 300 say, what is our profession? And they go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, what's the prophet's profession? This work, to do this work. And seeing we have a great high priest passed into the heavens, let us hold fast unto our profession, hold fast unto this work. Because Yahweh Shai is the whole system of the high priest and the whole, the whole, you know, tabernacle, the mercy seat was all a spiritual representation of what was going on in the heavens, which always would lead to Yahweh Shai. It will always lead to him being that, that sacrifice and, and, it, and always lead to uh lead uh, it will always lead back to Yahweh Shai because how do we receive mercy now through him because he's that a mortal a mortal sacrifice and he's always in the he's always is in the holy place with Yahweh by Shemuel Shai other than the high priest which went in once a year and it will have to be perfect that man had to be he couldn't have a crook nose he couldn't have a uh, a cleft he couldn't be a midget he 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 had he had to be perfect, but what the high priest the high priests weren't always completely perfect. Some of them sinned. That's why I said they offered up offered it offered up for themselves, not only for the nation of Israel, but but for themselves and for Israel. But Yahweh Shai came and did it right. He came and never sinned on this earth as Yahweh Shai. Verse fifteen: For we have not an high priest who cannot be touched. With the with the feeling of our infirmities, but but was in all points tempted like as we we are, yet without sin. So Yahweh Shai went through. We went through. Yahweh Shai. That's why he's he knows the the bullshit of this flesh. He understands it. He gets it. That's why he can go before the heavenly Father, and and and, and speak with him and say, Look, I I, I I've been there. But Yahweh Shai, what he what happened? He didn't falter. He didn't sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace, grace 
and find grace to help in the time of need. And that's what we want. We want grace in the time of need. We want grace in the times that that are approaching. We want grace through Yahweh Shai. Because he is a he he was a better and a better sacrifice than what we had, than the order that was set up in the past. That order did not endure. That's why the temple rent. Because the heavenly father was done with that way. Yahweh Shai came with the with another way, which was through him. This is why we must worship him. Because he got rid of the old and brought in the new. That's why it's called the New Testament. The New, the new Testament, the New Covenant, a revised uh, covenant through with the Heavenly Father, through Yahweh Shai to the children of Israel. He was a better way than that old priesthood set up by Aaron, or really set up by Moses, which is through this through the line of Aaron. The Levitical priesthood, the Heavenly Father got rid of because Yahweh Shai was a better way. Because Yahweh Shai came down here, suffered as we suffered, and never sinned. So, let me see. For we for every high priest that he is from among the men. Let me go to, this is actually probably fire. Yeah, let's hey, let's just keep going on this Romans five. This is Romans five and verse one. For every high priest taketh taketh from among men is or for is ordained for men in things pertaining to Yahweh. Because what? He was taken a high priest was taken from this bloodline of Aaron and was set as the high priest. Uh pertaining to the things that 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 are to the Heavenly Father. That that he may offer both gifts and sacrifice for sins. Who who can can have like who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also can passes with it is also can pass with a firmly, showing that the high priest was not completely perfect. And by reason hereof he ought, as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. Because he will offer, like it says, for himself and for the people. And no man taketh his honor unto him, this honor unto himself, but he that is called of Yahweh, as was Aaron. So also Yahweh Shai glorified not himself to be made in high priest, but that but that said un unto himself, thou art my son. Today I have forgot begotten thee. Like Yahweh said out of the chariot, this is my this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Showing that the things that pertain unto the heavenly father in men, you have to go through Yahweh Shai. I'm done with the order of Aaron. You have you have to go through Yahweh Shai. This is my that's why the heavenly father said, This is my well son, this is my beloved son, who I am well pleased. You gotta go through him now. The order of Aaron, the priesthood of Aaron is done away with. You gotta go through him. As he says also in another place, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, which Melchizedek was the king of the Shalom, which was Shai. Pay tithes unto 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 Abraham, who in the day of his flesh, when he had offered up prayer and supplication with a strong crying tears up unto him that was able to save from death and was heard in in that he feared, though he though he were a son, yet learned Yet learned he obedience by by the things which he suffered, sweet my Shai, being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all things that obey him, and only and only ones that will obey him are the children of Israel and specifically the elect, 
That is who the salvation is for, the children of Israel. He was set up to be a better way for the children of Israel and, and gained an eternal salvation unto, unto us, which was the mission. He brought us back to what fell. He brought us back to what happened. To, to the to the garden, if you will. He brought us back to the way that Adam lost, to perfection, to immortality, to glory. Because since that fall of Adam, we have been fallen from that great glory, which was set from the beginning. But Yahushua came back with it. He redeemed us to the Heavenly Father. And it's something that the high priest could have never done. The order of Aaron could have never, never fully brought us back to to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, to to Yahweh. It was it was supposed to, but it never was going to because the high priest would have never been made perfect. Yahweh Shai was made perfect through coming on the earth and not sinning. Yeah, he committed sins in his past life, but as Yahweh Shai, he did not commit any sins. He completed the mission. He did He did it all. Everything was fulfilled in him. That's why he is worthy to be praised, and that's why he must be worshipped. Called of Yahweh and high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom having, having many things to say and hard to understand, seeing ye are dull of hearing. And that's why Jake can't really get it. Because Jake wants to, and you know who, they, Jake wants that old order set up and they don't want to give the glory unto Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is to get all the praise and all the glory because through him and through the sacrifice which he made and through the revising of the old covenant, we have a way unto life through Yahweh Shai. This is how we get back unto, unto what Adam got cast out of through him. This is how we get back to it. Actually, let me get that. This is Romans. And my title is title is Romans. I believe it's five. This is Romans five, and this is Romans five verse uh, ten. For if when we were, uh, sorry, at twelve. Wherefore, as by one man's sin enter 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 into the world and death by sin, so death pass upon all men for 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 that all all have sin because death passed unto who the sons of God because what like Solomon said, let me grab it because what was man in what was the sons of God originally? The sons of God originally were made to be immortal. But what through sin and through envy of the devil, as it was written, and through that fall, we, we lost that. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and verse 23. For Yahweh created man to be immortal, and not all men, but specifically the sons of God, and made, made him, him to be, be an image of his own eternity. But what we fell through that stony heart being given unto Adam, what we fell from that great estate, we fallen. But Yahweh Shai brought us back. He brought us back to that great way. He brought us back to immortality. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. Death unto who? The sons of God. And they that do hold of his side shall find it. That's why Yahusha said, what? You are your father, you're the devil. The lust of him will ye do. Jake still follows that old serpent. And also Cain and also Esau Edom. Jake still follows that old way which got us killed in the beginning. Which led us into, into death. This is back in Romans 5 verse 13. For unto the, for unto for until the law, sin is sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigneth from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression. They didn't go off like 
and like Adam did. But what the but we all are under sin through Adam's transgression. Who is the figure of him that was to come, which was who? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was always spoken about to come, even during the time of Enoch. But not as the but not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of Yahweh, the gift by grace, which is by one man, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, have abundant abound unto many, and not as it was by one that sinned, so it so is the gift for the judgment was was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification justification. For if by one many of offense death reign by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of 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 the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And that's how we obtained it, because Yahweh Shai was set to be a better order, a better priesthood, and a better sacrifice than anything that came before him. Then Adam, then the, then the high priesthood, then all that. Yahweh Shai was better than all that. That's why in the transfiguration, Yahweh Shai was seen in the midst of the, the prophets and the law, which was who, who showed up? Moses and Elijah. Because Yahweh Shai overshadowed all of them. He was the one. He was the guy to do it. He was the man to do it. And even as we speak right now, even as I speak right now, he's in the heaven making perpetuation for the children of Israel and their sins every single day, bro. Unlike the high priest who went in once a year. Yahweh Shai does that eternally. He eternally sits there and pleads for the children of Israel and is going to come and deliver them. Without Yahweh Shai, without the sacrifice he did, without without the the things Yahweh Shai did and, and the order he set up through the Heavenly Father, we would all be fucked and we would all be condemned and we we would have no hope in the world. We would all be destroyed. And it's just as plain as that. It's just as plain as that. So I'm going to get this Hebrews 9 and close off. Hebrews 9 and verse 10. Let's start up. Hebrews 9 and verse... One second. Hebrews 9 and verse 8. The Holy Spirit, this signifying that that the way into the holy holiest of all was not yet made manifest. While as the first tabernacle was just standing. Because it wasn't, that wasn't, let's start up actually. Hebrews 9 and verse 6. Now when these things were were those ordered, ordained, the priest was went away into the first tabernacle accomplishing, accomplishing the service of Yahweh. But unto the second went the high priest alone once every year not without blood, which he he offered for himself and for the heirs of the people. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, this signifying that the way of the holiest of all was not yet manifest because who was it to manifest? Who was it all to represent? It was supposed to, it was to represent Yahweh Shai. While as the first tabernacle was just standing, was yet a figure for the for the time then present. It was only set for a time. Like the scriptures say, it was only set for a time to come, for, for, for that present time. But there was always a better way prepared, which was through Yahweh Shai, and which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make, let's read that, that could not make him that did the sacrifice perfect, as pertaining to the to the con as pertaining to the to the con con conscience so it would never that and they were supposed to be that whole order was supposed to be the order 
that would bring us and have us connected to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Shai. But what? It was never going to make us perfect. Yahweh deals in perfection. He deals in perfection. This is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He is the essence of perfection. That way was not perfect. It's just that simple. It was not perfect. Even Adam was not perfect in the beginning. That's why he eventually went off. The perfection comes through Yahweh Shai. It all comes through him. Without Yahweh Shai, none of this is possible. None of it. All of all of it. All of it is 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 all vain. If Yahweh Shai never came. This is the importance the the importance of Yahweh Shai. There has to be a uh, immense importance set on him because without him without him none of this is possible none of it no scriptures no understanding nothing because that old priesthood would would have never made us perfect that old priesthood was supposed to bring us back to what, what was falling what was what that old priesthood was supposed to bring us back to what Adam lost. And it never did. But but guess who guess who is and, and guess who will? Yahweh Shai. He's bringing us back to that order that was that was that Adam lost and even better. He's bringing us back to the garden. He's bringing us back to that 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 knowledge of understanding that brings immortality, which is through this truth. And it starts with this. It starts with this gospel. Verse 10. Which stood only in meat and drinks and, and diverse washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of re refor reformation. Let's get this word reformation. Of Hebrews 9. 10. Let's get this word reformation. Oh, let's read the NIV real quick. It says, They are only a matter of, of food and drinks and various ceremonies, washings, uh, external regular regulations. Applying until the time of the new order. Who is the new order? That's that's he. What is the new order? Yahweh Shai. It says uh, this is a Greek word. Strong's G thirteen fifty seven. The Diathosis. Diathosis. G thirteen fifty fifty seven. The Diathosis. Says in physical sense and making straight, restoring to his natural or normal condition something which is some way, let's get this word, protrude, protrude, protrudes or has gotten out of line as broken or mishaps uh, limbs of an act of instructing or reformation. You're fixing. What was what was basically broken, and what and how Shai came with that new order to fix which was broken, which was the children of Israel, and to bring us back to that to that to that ways of immortality, the ways of righteousness. We would not receive spiritual powers without Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai didn't go on the cross, nothing would happen. There, really, man, we you don't take needs to realize how fucked we are without Yahweh Shai. We're fucked without him. Don't you don't you see that or realize that? This is back in Hebrews nine and verse verse uh, eleven. But 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 being Hamashiach, come and and high priest of good things to come by great 
and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands. This is this is to say not of this building because what it's in the heavens. He's literally in the heavens where the design of the building came from. It was all a spiritual representation of the things that were set up in heaven. And now Yahweh Shai is a part of that. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Who is the us? The children of Israel. Who is Paul? Paul is Israelite. For if the blood for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes and of heifers sprinkled the un sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of a Mashiach, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot, perfect, perfect, like it said in Hebrews in the fourth chapter. Purge your, your conscience from your dead works to, to serve, serve the living power. For this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament or the new order, like it said further up in the NIV, that by many, by the means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testimony, they which are called might receive the promise of the of eternal inheritance. This is how we receive that first covenant, which was which we lost through Adam. This is how we get back to it. Which that first covenant was supposed to be eternal. It was supposed to be immortality. But Adam wasn't perfect. But how shy is. That's why he's an alpha in the book. Alpha and Omega, he's the beginning and the end. He's perfection through Yahweh and through the sacrifice he made. For where, for where a testimony is, there must also, there must also of necessity be the death of the test testator. For the testimony is a force because it can't be without blood. For the testimony of the force after men are dead, otherwise it is so no strength at all while the tester lives. But what? Yahusha died and, and came back. He rose again. Whereupon neither is the first testimony was dedicated without blood. So you have to have that blood. For when Moses has spoken every precept, which is commandment, to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of the of the calves and of the goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, "This is the blood of the testimony," because it had to be by blood, which Yahweh have enjoined unto you. Because the Lord only did this with one nation, which are the children of Israel. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of of the of the ministry, and all and almost of all things are by the law purged with blood without and with and without shedding of blood, no remission. So there must have been blood. That's why how Shai shed his blood. For the new testimony, for the new tabernacle, for the for the new testament or the new order, the new way. This is all through Yahweh Shai, man. This is all set up because Yahweh Shai went up and shed his blood for the redemption of the children of Israel. And it's a great order, man, because through the first order, we had no bro. Through the first order in America, we would never make it. We would be destroyed. We can't. We can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. We sin. We go off it every day. We don't know if half the shit we eat is pork. We don't. We don't know the 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 fucking clothes we wear. We don't know if these bit these these women be out here lying to us. We would be fucked. There's so many 
things that, that we go off on in America that we have no hope but through Yahusha we do because he brings that grace and he brings that mercy. And now that don't mean just be fucking out here at going crazy in sin. That don't mean that. You do your best as you can in America. But we have hope through Yahweh Shai. And that's the point, man. We have hope through Yahweh Shai because he is the greatest testimony. And he is a, he he went up there and did his thing. So, Lord will, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to go, give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekha